Now going over to the political part podcast, you have Vivek on banning TikTok. Now this comes to thanks to his ex-Twitter profile where he says, quote, bashing TikTok is easy. Understanding the actual issue is harder. President Job, pre, uh, geez, geez Louise, I can barely speak sometimes, but it's one of those fascinating little theories I have. Now, I'm not a doctor. However, I have a theory. The more subscribers I get, the more articulate I've been able to speak. Some might say it's just a modicum of improvements in starting the show. However, I have a theory that if you click that subscribe button, it may, may very well may assist in my speaking ineptitudes and help me speak a little bit better. Now, granted, it's just a theory, but as I've gained more subscribers, I have increased my speaking abilities just a little bit. So just a friendly reminder, if you can click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Again, me attempting to repeat what he says, he says, quote, bashing TikTok is easy. Understanding the actual issue is harder. President Trump just came out opposing the pending legislation. Here's why that's right. We need to end all forced data transfers to the CCP, regardless of ownership, unquote. And again, it's about a four minute, I'll, I'll play the maybe first minute or two of a Vic. So without further ado. Just came out against a legislative measure that would require the owner of TikTok to divest it. It's currently a Chinese owner, a company called ByteDance, or else that it would be banned in the United States. President Trump just came out opposing that. I think that's the right decision, actually, of President Trump to oppose that legislation because it doesn't make any sense. And I've long said this, even late in the campaign, took a lot of heat from fellow Republicans. But I think we have to ask ourselves the why. And this is the problem with professional politicians. President Trump isn't a professional politician and neither am I. But many people in professional politics, they look at what they're supposed to say and they act like billiard balls on a pool table. They go in whatever direction they're hit without thinking about the actual why. It's a problem even in the Republican Party. Let's take a step back and ask about the why of what's going on here. What's the real concern that people have with TikTok? Well, one is it's an addictive problem in kids. It's not just TikTok. That applies to a bunch of other social media platforms as well. And that is an issue we need to tackle, but it's not specific to one platform. I do think there should be age-based restrictions on using addictive social media. But that's not a TikTok-specific point. This point about the divestment relates to a different concern. The use and provision of data, US user data, potentially to the Chinese Communist Party. And I think that is a major concern. But here's the rub. It isn't limited to just TikTok or even Chinese-owned companies in the US. It expands to include even so-called US companies that are still beholden to the CCP because they do business in China. Here's an example. A couple of years ago, there was Good Wall Street Journal reporting on the fact that Airbnb, a US company, supposedly US company at least, was providing US user data to the CCP as a condition for doing business in China. According to the Wall Street Journal reporting, Sean Joyce, the chief privacy officer of Airbnb, resigned over that because it wasn't properly disclosed to the public. And one of Airbnb's co-founders reportedly told him that we're not here to promote American values behind closed doors. I'm sure he wouldn't say that in public when they put a little black square on their Instagram account to stand with Black Lives Matter. That virtue signaling aside, this is what they say behind closed doors. It's not just Airbnb though. It applies to countless other US companies as well. So we have to ask ourselves the why. And if the real concern we have, and I think it is a real concern we ought to have, is the provision of US consumer and user data to the Chinese Communist Party, that's what we should be legislating against. Ban US companies from providing US user data to China. I think it's a sensible measure regardless of the company. But it is beyond silly to just pick one random company and go after them because that is temporarily a politically popular thing to do while actually failing to solve the actual problem that applies to Chinese companies and US companies alike, including the US companies that do business in China. Now, here's the real problem with the Republican Party is when it has its head stuck in the stand this deep without even thinking about the why, then they start to behave in self-defeating ways. Democrats are all over TikTok, reaching the next generation of Americans, while Republicans are virtue signaling amongst themselves, failing to actually bring those new voters along by meeting them at least on the platform that is operating in the United States today. I became one of the rare Republicans when I was running for president, one of the rare Republican candidates who did open a TikTok account late 
in my presidential campaign. And I'm glad I did it because I hope it sets an example for other Republicans to say that for whatever's wrong with these platforms, we make them that much worse if the only message that they're getting is a progressive far left message from a bunch of Democrats that are using that to reach the next generation in a way that we're not. That's a formula for, you know what, losing elections, the thing that we've exactly been doing for the last five years, if not more. And so against that backdrop, I think it makes sense, and I'm going to make a prediction, that eventually people do come to their senses. We are going to see other Republican candidates for federal roles join TikTok, too. I predict that's going to happen. It's an inevitability. But if that's going to happen, let's at least do it in a way that wins us this 2024 election rather than handing it over on a silver platter for the other side to win the youth vote. I don't think that's the right way for us to go. And I think there's one thing our Republican Party can do a better job of. Let's think about the why. Why are we actually adopting a particular policy? Go back to those principles and be unshakable on those principles rather than adopting flimsy policies along the way. And in the meantime, let's actually play to win rather than just a virtue signal to each other. Again, as articulate as usual and bringing up a lot of good points. And yeah, that is a... It's one of those things where banning TikTok would be, I think, akin to putting a Band-Aid on the problem because, or attempting to put a Band-Aid to fix something where you really need surgery. Because this sure is not just TikTok communicating with China, you also have you know, all the major social media companies. And again, one of the biggest reasons why Republicans fail, well, there's a myriad of reasons, but marketing is terrible. And not being on that platform certainly is hurting a lot of these candidates. And again, it's pretty fascinating to see Trump make kind of, backtrack or pivot his stance on TikTok. It'll be interesting to see, I mean, what is the main feedback from Vivek's fans? We'll dive in the comments to find out. You have, let's see here. Interestingly enough, it looks like the first one of the first ones from Vivek, and he says, quote, this community note, and again, perhaps it was deleted, but I don't, I'm not seeing community notes, maybe it's removed, but he said, nevertheless, this community note is bogus. I've criticized addictive social media's effects on young kids, including TikTok, and advocated for broad bans under kids uh, bans under kids under the age of 16. I also believe that we should prohibit any company from handing over private American data to CCP, including U.S. companies. I stand by both. But presenting this as some kind of contradiction to my opposition to the current bill in Congress is pathetic. We shouldn't fall for the self-interested D.C. lobbying by Facebook, etc. Yeah, it is. I can't fathom a single justification of someone being that under 16 using social media. I also see, don't see a single real reason they need a cell phone either. It's one of those things where the justification is real. They say it's for safety, but no. If if anything, you can get them a dumb phone maybe. Like a little flip phone from the 90s. There's, no, I see, think there's an overwhelming negative. If you look at the good, bad, or the ratio, or the good outweighing the bad for young people with cell phones. I'd, say, I'd probably argue the bad outweighs the good by a oh, great magnitude. Going down to the comments, you also have the usual suspect saying, Bahaha, this is the biggest sidestep of BS explanation I've ever heard. Fun fact, Vivek and Trump flipped, flip-flopped on TikTok because of a major investor of TikTok donated to them. I'm quoting 556 likes, which... Let me actually click on that to see if anyone actually specifies who it is. So the, the, he responded to his own comments saying, quote, Yas. So it looks like that's a real name too, Jeff Yas. This is according to the Dallas News, apparently. Yas has spent millions on potential presidential candidates over the years. That includes Vivek Ramaswamy. Yas put $4.9 million into the American Exceptionalism PAC, which supported the Trump-allied Ramaswamy's bid for the GOP nomination. That, according to, looks like an article written by the Dallas News, February 29th, 2024. Let's see here. Now, there are some people asking him, what are you talking This is Quentin saying, Great, what are you talking about? He's always been for a limit on kids using too much social media. That includes TikTok. He went on there because that's where youths and others utilize the platform, bring their ideas to the use. Why shouldn't Vivek be able to do that? Uncle gained nine likes. Let's see here. So again, we do have some, interestingly enough, we have some contrarian statements. Peter Henlon says, quote, we can all stop pretending Trump doesn't bow to his donors. We can all stop pretending tr Trump is America first. What a joke it all is. I'm quoting 868 likes. 
This might be one of the biggest ratios against Vivek. Banana Republic Justin Swan said, quote, Trump is wrong, ban TikTok and all CCP propaganda platforms, I quote, gained 283 likes. Dave Benner, nemesis of neocons, says, quote, the NSA is a bigger threat to your privacy than TikTok. The DHS is a bigger privacy, bigger threat to your privacy than TikTok. The TSA is a bigger threat to your privacy than TikTok. The IRS is a bigger threat to your privacy than TikTok. The CBDC is a bigger threat to your privacy than TikTok, unquote. They got 287 likes. Garrison Murato says, quote, this man is not a serious political leader. He's an entertaining, provocateur, and malcontent, but he's not a serious political leader. I'm quoting 164 likes. Burke Macklin says, quote, just stop you absolute clown. I'm quoting 116 likes. Let's see here. Dr. Fates says, quote, how much money are you and Trump getting from Yas to Sim for the CCP spying? And again, this is almost useless. He has a meme, but they were... Again, if you have memes, a statistic, or, you know, it always helps to have, again, there's a difference between a meme where it's like a cartoon making a political pun, and this technically isn't meme, it just looks like a screenshot from a news article. But again, this person, Dr. Fate, does not actually list the actual article, I guess maybe because of the previous comment, we can guess this is Dallas News again, maybe. And it says, one American who does not share this goal is Jeff Yass, a conservative hedge fund manager who has a reportedly 33 has a 33 billion stake in TikTok and reportedly threatened to cut off funding to Republicans who support the divestment bill. A 33 billion stake in TikTok? That is quite a lot to say the least. Let's see. Scrolling down more and more. Let's see. Bulldog for Vivek says, quote, Vivek for MAGA, Trump VP, announced on TikTok to reach younger voters who America First Movement, unquote. Grammar be damned, that did get 30 likes. Let's see. Lewis, or Luis, rather, Simpson says, quote, I'm impressed your future in the Trump admin is looking bright indeed, Vivek, unquote, getting 43 likes. So again, this is perhaps one of the most ratioed and negative feedback Vivek has ever gotten. It looks like most people bringing up the Perhaps a conflict of interest. I need to look into the Jeff Yass to see if that is, if he really does have a $33 billion stake and if he donated to their campaigns. But that seems to be one of the largest negative comments thus far, as well as Vivek saying, you know, we should ban the transfer of data and actually ban the app. Like, I mean, if you were to, I mean, if you were to actually ban the transfer of data, I think that'd be interesting. I'm not sure how it would work in, in concept, but that would, I think, rest assure a lot of the concerns that people have around foreign apps, especially with TikTok. Now, that being said, that wouldn't necessarily change the mechanisms where it's, you know, it's basically just brainwashing kids. It's not adding value to their life. It would just, you just would be sharing all that data with the parent company. So that'd be interesting. Let me know if that would, if you think we should just straight out ban TikTok or do you think they should just be divested or do you think it should just be stopping all the transfer of the data? As always, be fascinated here what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up and thumbs down or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback. Let me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.